Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. And uh, two of the greatest evils in South Africa and the things that he fought was ignorance and hate. And uh, we have used that and been inspired by African leadership. And we started in exactly the same way. Eden Campus was started with a lot of discussions and a lot of conversations with uh, 40 communities in the whole Southern Cape. We had traditional leaders, we had uh, youth, we had uh, uh, government involved, we had entire communities. We had huge debate with uh, uh, the, the, the white community in, in Karatra who were f terrified of, of change and terrified of black people. And uh, you can imagine creating something in an old age home that was derelict for 13 years and uh, building this up. And so we, we had uh, one flip chart, one lecturer, some paint tins that were sort of the first chairs, and we had 40 amazing students. And they came, and uh, they came to get an education, and they came to build a, a university and a campus and a green business school. And then we started very humble, and we started like most schools in Africa, is under a tree. Some of the great leaders of, of South Africa said, well, you don't fight hate with hate. Uh, you don't fight crime with, with, with more and more policing. In fact, uh, in the darkness, you turn on a light. It's got to be positive. It's got to be something that allows people to, to, to come in. And so the whole approach has been one of, one of uh, uh, and our students have been one of, hold on, this is a business school. It's about dignity. It's about uh, how do we lead? How do we understand? How do we listen? How do we in fact find similarity in challenges of saying, well, let's, let's eradicate poverty. Let's, let's uh, make it a beautiful place for future generations. Let's leave legacies. Uh, let's, let's get more out of life. Let's bring vitality and energy and enterprise uh, and hope. And let's build dignity where there was very, very little. And in fact, you can, it's the flower in the desert. Uh, and the minute there's one flower, everyone else starts to flower. In the future, we have to be green. We know that there is water crisis, energy, and so we want young South African entrepreneurs to approach and uh, be the front runners in these new areas of innovation and enterprise. Eden Campus is the world's first multivarsity, and I'll explain what a multivarsity is. Is a university you're interested in a degree, and everyone goes for this amazing piece of paper called a degree. What we do is we've just gone the opposite way. Is we said, right, we want three different outcomes for our students. We want first to try and get our students to be financially independent, which means how do they start businesses and create jobs, and how do they actually learn how to make money? The huge drive behind it is that it's very easy to have ideas and talent, but to actually turn that idea and that talent into money is a very different skill. And what we're trying to instill in the students is the, the faith and the confidence to take something that you can do already and to market that and to make money out of it. So we've got a whole series of businesses that we've opened up on campus. Some of them are brand new since the beginning of the year we set up, uh, for example, the Herbs Group and the Salon, which is known as Eves of Eden. Um, the name coming obviously from our name, Eden, it was just too good an opportunity to miss. Um, and again, they had an empty space that they started from. They had to equip it. They had to decide what their policies were going to be. They had to advertise it, work out what their rates were going to be, who was their target market. So this is all part of a learning process, going out into the community and finding out whether there's a need for that. They can apply all the theory that they're picking up in class to an actual empty space. How do you start with an empty storeroom and make it into a salon? So the difference between our students and any other young person out there is that our students know how to take an idea or take a talent and actually make money out of that. It's for taking something that is not necessarily worth anything itself and then turning that into a business and that in itself is green alchemy. Starting with nothing and making the money.
There's a saying that goes that everything happens for a reason, which I believe that I came here for a reason. And being here at Eden Campus is, like I said, just one step closer to what I want to achieve in life. And being here was really uh, an achievement for me. And it made me think about life and the people around me and how I should value and not take anything or any person for granted. Which Eden Campus is the best place for me to be. When you come from areas, and a lot of our students come from a culture where there is a culture of, of losing, and you shift that completely into a culture of winning. So we really want to create an incubator that rockets our students into the future. It is about people, it is about prosperity, and it is about planet. And so our entire curriculum around Gaia capitalism is based on that sustainability model and business incubators that will not just change a student's life, but change the life of many, many people around where those students become lighthouses in their communities. And I think one of the secrets here, and this is what's happening, is you can't show people and then they believe. It's not for cynics. In fact, you have to have this faith and this belief and then get enough people with that, that faith and belief to actually make it the reality. So it's in fact the other way around. It's believing is seeing, not seeing is believing. So Eden Campus was built on the mission of saying, well, how do we equip young, amazing South Africans for the future? Uh, and we don't have all the proof. It's not a, a financial perspective looking at the past, but what we do know is we know our instincts are right, and we know our guts are right, because we are our parents, and we are in, in a community, and we've got to give and unleash and, and create enormous opportunities for the youth of this country. And that is right. <laughs>